There are five things that I believe every beginner photographer or videographer should have in the camera bag and why. So let's get right into it. Number one, a lens cleaning kit. This is something that everyone neglects. And the reason that I put this as number one is if you are at a shoot and the weather might be it's windy or you're at the beach, whatever the case may be, you get so immersed in the photos that you are taking, you would not necessarily realize that there is actually dust on your lens or dust on your sensor. You only realize it as soon as you go and transfer the photos onto your PC and you start looking through the photos and you will see a speck of dust that is sitting in the corner on that side or a speck of dust that is consistently sitting in the, in, in the middle and you could have eliminated that by just periodically just checking the lens and just ensuring that you are wiping this off so definitely get yourself one of these it is very cheap however it can definitely improve your photography and videography game a long way so i will add links in the description below on some of the products that i would suggest please note that it is affiliate link if you are interested in any of these then you can just click on the link below alternatively you can view my gear page uh, on my website you can just click on there and it will show you all of the gears that i'm currently using for photo and video take a visit it no problem number two a flat or full up screwdriver and an allen key set or you might just get yourself a utility knife the reason i put this here is mounting your camera onto your onto your tripod mounting your camera onto a gimbal mounting your camera onto anything else one of the biggest fears that any photographer has is that the gear is gonna fall so you can ensure that the mounting plate gets tightened properly onto your camera second reasons would be that your light stands might need a screw that needs fastening and stuff like that so having something like this in your bag will definitely assist you in those scenarios do not neglect the small things that's number two number three a portable light source portable light source meaning small lights that you can carry in your pocket these are not these are not specifically pocket sized lights as you can see definitely not pocket sized lights but a small light that you can either put in your camera bag that you can put under the seat of your car that you can put um, in your pocket those smaller ones that you can obviously buy from various places if you don't want to set up a big softbox or you don't want to set up light stands and all of these type of things or you don't have a lot of room to move around then these will definitely come in handy so invest in something like this so that's number three number four additional batteries so backup batteries first second third whatever the case may be you do not want to be in the middle of the shoot and immediately your camera dies on you because you do not have battery left one it's very unprofessional very very unprofessional for you to for you to have your camera die on you and you do not have any backup batteries what do you tell the client then so you need to have a backup battery with you at all times and i would recommend at least two additional backup batteries so keep a backup battery number five would be a prime lens whether it be a 35 mm 50 mm 85 mm 105 mm whatever the case may be and my recommendations would be to get yourself a 35 mm from a photographer's perspective everyone is consistently advising photographers to get a 50 mm yes it's, it's a it's a brilliant start of startup lens to get yourself a 50 mm but in the time of photography and videography as a hybrid a 35 mm would be a much better option a prime lens forces you to move so from a photographer's perspective to improve yourself as a photographer you need to move your feet and not only your fingers so moving yourself forward and back to get your composition right to get your shot right and stuff like that it just improves your creativity when it comes to taking a photo and the bonus item as i mean this is very small very simple yet very effective especially for a beginner photographer white balance cards is gray white and black one thing that i can tell you and this is out of doubt is that auto white balance on the camera is not perfect it works in majority of the situations but there are situations or circumstances where auto white balance is not going to work 
If you do not understand how to manually set auto white balance on your camera, customize it. If you are enjoying this content, please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you in advance.